Hi, I'm Chelsea from Sweet Life Sandberg. Today I'm going to take you with me to pack for our weekend trip to Isla Morada. We will be there for three nights and I am just gonna be packing and taking you along with me. At the end of today's video, I'm going to share with you a few items that I tend to forget every time we go somewhere. I finally made a list of them on my phone so that I won't forget them this time. So make sure you stick around to the end to see what those items are. Also, you'll be introduced to my cats more than likely throughout the filming of this video. We have two, one is named Moby and one is named Ruby. So I'm sure that you'll see them throughout the duration of this video. Also, please don't mind our bed. I wash all of our bedding, our sheets, our blankets, our pillows and our pillowcases typically before a weekend away so that we can come back to a nice clean bed. So that is why it looks like this and when it does look like this, our cats love to play in it. They love, they love when there's no uh, pillows or blankets on the bed. So you might get a show while I'm packing today. And one last thing, I am packing for both myself and my husband. It will be the two of us going to the Keys. He is working today and I am not. So I am just going to do all of the packing because we want to get going the second he gets off of work. When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise Tear all the words out of my mind About who I'm supposed to be, I start to believe I can't get it right Remember the days I let slip away They were simpler times Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon I'll bet my life You'll be dancing on the moon <laughs> She is so naughty. So this cat will find whatever it is she's not supposed to be doing and she will do it. So here, let me, she's, oh, I thought she was inside my dress. Okay. I'm going to walk you through a little bit about how I packed for myself. I do not have a list that I stick to every time and I probably should have one. It would probably make this a lot easier. The only list I have are of things that I tend to forget a lot. So this pile is kind of my I want to look nice pile. So places we go where maybe I would want to take pictures or something along those lines. I'm going to try on most of these clothes because I'm a I'm someone who I'm sure you can relate. I don't know what I'm going to feel like wearing, so I'm going to try them on and narrow those down or maybe add different options. So that is what this pile is. Um here I just have my under clothes, just one white cami to wear under anything I might need to. I always bring a removable makeup, makeup remover, reusable cloth, and then this is a micro, it dries my hair. Um, this is something that I didn't know I needed and now can't live without. So always, I always bring those. These are just kind of my lounge clothes for around the hotel. As you know, if you've watched my prior Keys videos, we've been to the Keys many, many times. So this isn't something where, oh my gosh, we only have three days to see it all. We've seen most of the Keys and so we go down there just to be down there. We will definitely be doing some fun things, but a lot of the time we'll probably rent kayaks or be on the water in some way. So I have a bunch of just kind of lounge clothes. And then I brought two swimsuits. Again, I might try those on and just bring one. And that's about it for me. This is my makeup bag. I just always kind of have it ready to go. And then I will show you, I keep this tote bag and I just always keep it packed. I, it, this is where our toiletries live. I 
here. I will show you with my camera quick. The cats love this bag. Um, okay, so this is where our toiletries live. Obviously, I have to add some things to it every time. But I have like hairspray, a comb, a brush, moisturizer, ibuprofen. This is cotton balls and Q-tips. I have my facial setting spray or my makeup setting spray. There's a razor in there, deodorant. I do that because it just makes it easier to pick it up and go. I still have some work to do on myself because I need to go through the clothes for the cute days and figure, pick out what I'll be wearing. But I'm gonna move on to packing for my husband now. And then I come back and I pack for the things that we both use, like our toothbrushes, our, well, our toiletries, our chargers, any form of entertainment like books. We don't bring our computers or anything like that, but I do that at the end. So I'm gonna pack for my husband now. Something very important. We will be in the Keys on a Sunday. So we have to bring our jerseys. Go Cowboys, that is a must. So those are getting packed right now. I am new to YouTube. My video editing skills aren't perfect. I just realized that my back was probably to you the whole time I was packing for myself. So I've switched the camera around and I'm not gonna refilm my portion because that wouldn't be natural and I am naturally packing. So, oh, <laughs> I hope that this angle provides a better, uh, a better angle and I will, I promise, continue to grow and change and evolve. So stick with me, please. Mama told me before you leave If there's only one thing you remember from me Child, when you're out on your own A million miles from home Feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders Child, don't forget who you are Don't lose your head or your heart I'll bet my life on your stars You'll be dancing, dancing on the I think is it for my husband. Obviously I need a couple things like the underwear and I still need to pack all of our toiletries and electronics. Oh, by electronics, I mean our chargers for our phones. We really don't bring electronics on these trips. So I was doing laundry when I was packing. So I was running to our laundry basket to grab some of the clothes. I will show you here what I packed for him, but he is just so much easier to pack for. I do need to run the shirts by him really quick just to make sure, but otherwise I think he's ready to go. All right, so here's what I have for him. There are these very Florida shirts, so two options to kind of wear nicer shirts. This one is one of those that you can wear out fishing. So if we end up going kayaking or fishing or something like that, that'll be really nice. I brought lots of options for tees. I do sometimes overpack those just because we wear them a lot throughout the, like in the morning, at night, and then once in a while, we just don't want to dress up even when we're out and about. That is something totally acceptable in the keys. So that's really the, here, let me flip it around here. What I was starting to say was that one of the downsides of not making plans and being more spontaneous is that you don't really know what you're going to be doing. When you have one weekend in a city and you feel like that's all you have to do it all, at least when I do that, I have some sort of itinerary. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do that, and I wanna fit everything in because we don't know when we'll be back. But when we go to the Keys, we're a lot more spontaneous. And so I'd have to, I feel like I have to overpack so that I can make sure I have plenty of clothes for lounging, plenty of clothes for looking nicer. And then also, like I just mentioned, it's completely appropriate to wear whatever you want in the Keys. You can dress up as much as you want or you can dress down as much as you want. And either way, no one's gonna think you're weird. So it's hard to know what we're gonna be in the mood for both activity-wise and just mood-wise, wearing regardless of the activity. That's 
just kind of a unique challenge I have when we're packing for the keys. Okay, so we have the, the nicer clothes, the more loungy clothes. These are swim trunks, and then I brought two pairs of pants for more dress up and then two for lounging. You already saw our cowboys uniforms and that's about it. He, again, super, super easy to pack for. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try on all my like nicer clothes and um, pick what I'm gonna wear. My cat, this is Moby, he, this was a toy. So he tore off the string and he, he does play fetch. He is obsessed with it. It doesn't have the rattler anymore. I'll throw it. He's, look, he's waiting for me to throw it. He wants me to throw it so bad. Um, so I will show you that. But this cat literally plays fetch and brings it back. So let me show you. Our Roomba is working down there. So pardon the noise. And here we go. Forgot to mention, he loves to play fetch, but he specifically prefers the stairs. He won't bring it back unless you throw it down the stairs. It's so funny. <laughs> okay, I promise he brings it back, but sometimes she will steal it. And so he will not always bring it back right away if she is around. So, all right, I know that you didn't come here to watch my cats, but this is what happens when I try to pack. I told you that at the end of today's video, I would share with you some of the items I tend to forget when we're packing. I started a, a list on my notes app so that I would not forget these this time and hopefully it pays off. Now watch me not even need any of these things this time. Number one is a cooler. It doesn't have to be big, at least for us but having a little cooler is really nice because we like to pick up beer typically when we go to the breweries and this keeps it nice and cold in the car if we're not going straight to the hotel or something like that. It's really nice to have. It's also nice to have if we take a little um, side trip to the beach or something like that. It's just really convenient and since it's so small, it's easy to throw in with the rest of our stuff. The second thing is kind of similar. It's actually koozies. I used to have a cooler where these would fit in the like an outer mesh pocket, but that cooler is no longer functioning. And so sometimes I forget. Well, I hate it when I forget koozies, so I throw these in. I also have this one, which just can be a koozie for any size of whatever you want to cool down. Um, so that's kind of nice. This one will fit white claws, it will fit bottles, it will fit cans. So I like to throw that one in as well. Okay, number three is poopery. So I don't think I need to say a ton about this. It doesn't matter who you're with. This is nice to have in those small spaces like hotel rooms. The fourth thing I did already mention, it's this hair towel dryer. This I didn't realize that I was so addicted to until we had a weekend trip away a couple of trips ago and I didn't have it. And I proceeded to forget it on the following two or three trips. I love this thing. It is such a, I don't know if it's a time saver, but it feels like it. I love being able to put it on my hair. I feel like it does help dry my hair better and it's supposed to be healthier for your hair. It's supposed to not pull, which is really good for your hair. So I recommend trying one of these and packing it with you. The last thing is actually long sleeves. I, for the last two trips, have wished that I brought long sleeves. Both trips, I even thought about it and I thought, do I want to bring long sleeves? And both times I said, no, we live in Florida. Florida does get chilly at nighttime and I love having long sleeves and really missed having the opportunity to have long sleeves. So don't forget your long sleeves. So that is it for our packing video. I hope my cats weren't too distracting and I hope it was kind of helpful. I am not a master packer by 
any means. There are a lot of people who are a lot better at it than me and probably could have fit it in just like an overnight bag or something like that. But I always enjoy watching how other people pack. So if it's helpful to you, then I'm glad. Or if it just kind of helps you pass the time, then that's good enough for me as well. I will put in the description a link of all of the things that I mentioned, especially those kind of specialty items that I typically forget. So you can buy them yourself and try out as well. As always, it would mean so much to me if you could give this video a like and subscribe to my channel.